Hey everybody, I want to show you how to find the energy of a photon given a wavelength. So let's get started. Here is an example that we want to solve how much energy is emitted by a wavelength that is 450 nanometers. So first of all, let's write down our equation for energy, which is delta, that's what this triangle means, delta E equals Planck's constant times mu, which is the frequency. Now I'm going to go ahead and label those. Here we see that this unit of Planck's constant has a joule in it. It's joules times seconds, and it's going to cancel with this frequency unit, which is per second. And energy, it is in joules. So let's go ahead and try to solve this problem. I know that I am looking for E, so I'm going to go ahead and put a question mark. I know Planck's constant, so I'm going to write that down. And I don't know nu, so I'm going to put another question mark. And this is a problem right here because you can't have two unknowns. It's You can't solve this equation if you have two unknowns. However, I do know that lambda and nu are related. So I'm going to put here on the right the equation that relates these two. It is lambda times the frequency, which is nu, equals the speed of light. Now that I have this equation, I'm going to go ahead and solve for frequency, which is nu. I know that my lambda is 450 nanometers. And don't forget that this needs to be turned into meters, so I'm going to do that really quick. I found that my lambda is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7 meters, and now I am ready to put it into my equation. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that I have all my numbers in my equation, I can solve for nu by dividing both sides by 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. And let's see what we get. We find that our frequency is 6.66 times 10 to the 14th power per second. And now that we have that, we can go ahead and go back to our original equation and find the energy of a photon. I'm going to substitute our new for the new number that we found, and now I can substitute my variables with numbers. Now that I substituted my numbers, I see that my units are going to cancel out these s's, and I'm going to just end up with joules, which is right because our energy is in joules. Now let's put this in the calculator. We're going to multiply these two numbers and get the energy of this photon. We find that the energy is 4.41 times 10 to the negative 19th power joules. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.